Greetings, I am Herbert Erpaderp, and today I'm going to build this plastic comet platoon for Flames of War by Battlefront. This is only the second plastic kit from Battlefront that I've built, so I'm a little bit excited. On the back of the box we can see an example of the comet all painted up, and the exploded diagram for instructions. This is really all you need, but there is a page at flamesofwar.com that includes historical information and more in-depth assembly instructions. Link in the description below. Upon opening the box I was a little bit annoyed by one thing. A lot of the tracks fell out of the sprues in the box. I guess it's a sign that the sprue gates are so tiny, which is good, but it's a little bit bothersome. It isn't a huge problem though. Also in the box are these decals, which are pretty nice, though I'll probably use the same decals I used on the Plastic Soldier Cromwells for consistency. In the same baggie is this sprue of Plastic Commanders. They're a lot better looking than the Metal Commanders that I've seen in other Battlefront kits. Let's have a closer look at the sprues. The parts are really nice and crisp. There aren't a lot of pieces, but what's there is really nicely detailed. You can see that these tracks are loose in the sprue and will easily fall out. Time to start building. First up is magnetization. These tanks were designed for magnets that are 1mm tall. The magnets that I have are 1.5mm tall. This is a bit of a problem. No magnets are included in the kit, which I figure is a cost cutting measure. Battlefront do have magnets available in their web store though. My solution was to glue one of the magnets on the inside of the turret, just like I would do with the Plastic Soldier Company kits. Then a magnet can be glued into the hull. I use a tongue depressor with a magnet glued to it to ensure consistent magnet polarity for all tanks. I like this magnetization better than the resin models where holes would need to be drilled. This is far quicker and neater. There's also an option to use a plastic pin instead of the magnet, which is nice too, though I think magnets are better. Now to glue the lower hole onto the upper hole. This is quite easy and the parts align quite well. Next I glue on the rear of the hole, again this is quite easily positioned. Then on go the tracks. There are guides on the track part and hull side to ensure that the tracks can only be attached correctly, which is nice, and I really do enjoy the one piece tracks. There was one unfortunate issue with the tracks. Most of my right side tracks were bent like this for some reason. I would expect this from a bolt action resin kit, but not from a plastic kit. I hope this isn't common to all Comet boxes. Fortunately, they do still fit. To finish the hull, I glued on this front plate and then glued in the machine gun, which is tiny and I had to use tweezers. Battlefront thoughtfully included three of these on the sprues because this part is so easy to lose or break. I actually broke five of them clipping them from the sprue leaving me with just enough for all the tanks, so definitely be careful with this piece. Turret time. Start by gluing the floor onto the main turret body, attach the gun mantlet, and then the bustle on the rear of the turret. Next, glue in the commander's hatch making sure to place it the correct way around. There is an open version of course for the commander to be sticking out of. I opted for the button down version as usual, though the commanders are quite nice and I was very tempted to use one. Then I added the turret machine gun, which was slightly easier to attach here, and then the searchlight on the side of the turret. This is another fiddly piece to be careful with, there are no spares. Now onto the gun. It's pretty good, there is a little bit of a mould line, but that's easily removed. As with most plastic kits, this gun has a solid end, very easily taken care of with a drill. Just be careful and try to drill the hole as close to the centre of the gun as possible. Something I like is when kits are cast in ways that allow the gun to only be positioned in one way. It greatly reduces the chances of muzzle brakes being placed on weird angles when gluing the gun in, which is the final step. Simply glue it in and make sure that it's on straight. There we have it, one completed Battlefront plastic comet tank for Flames of War, ready to race into the heart of Germany. Of course there are some optional parts included in the kit. These are spare track links, jerry cans, and a toolbox. I would really like to see more stowage included in kits, but this is better than none. I also added some bags and bedrolls and things from another kit, you can tell by the different coloured plastic. Overall I'm really quite satisfied with this kit, the only real issue being the oddly bent right track. It was really quick and easy to build. The instructions on the back of the box are good enough, though if you do need more detail there's always the online instructions linked below, though I do hope this video also helps. The level of detail is quite good. Battlefront's plastics are in my opinion better than their resin models, particularly in areas like the tracks. I'm pretty excited to paint these up, and I'll probably do that sooner than later, so do keep an eye out for that video. 
It seems that I will need at least another box of these to get the minimum of seven that I would need to build a tank company from the Nachtjäger book, and I have to say, I really don't have a problem with buying more of these. They're great, and I'm sure they'll look even greater once they're painted. Having built this box, I'm actually more excited for the plastic army in a box sets that Battlefront released this month. I'll probably actually start an American army using the Grimble's Beasts box, which also has things usable for a British force, so it's a good deal. I hope this video has been helpful or interesting for you. If you've got any thoughts or comments, be sure to post them below. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thanks for watching. Farewell.